And now for the second one, notice that we have dy dx is equal to y squared minus 2y plus 2. This expression does not depend on x, namely the independent variable, sometimes t. This is a special case called the autonomous differential equation. It's really cool. And here's the thing. The best part is that this is also separable. So let's just go ahead and divide this on both sides and then multiply dx on both sides. We have 1 over y squared minus 2y plus 2 in the y world, and this is equal to dx. And just go ahead and integrate both sides like what we did earlier. How do we deal with this though? Can we factor it? Unfortunately, not with real numbers. So we will have to complete the square. So here, y squared minus 2y, leave a space and then plus 2. This is 1 already. I will take half of this, which is negative 1, and square that, I will get positive 1. But don't forget to minus 1 here. And we see these three terms give us a perfect square, y minus 1 square. And this is, of course, just plus 1. So therefore, on the bottom here, this is just nicely equal to 1 over y minus 1 square plus 1. And let's not integrate anything yet, so I'll just still put down the integral of dx. To integrate this, do a u sub, let u equal to y minus 1. du is the same as dy, so we just need to integrate 1 over u squared in u squared plus 1 in the u world. And that will give us inverse tangent. Yay! So here we have inverse tangent of u, which is y minus 1. On the right hand side, we have the integral of 1 in the x world, so we get x. And now put a plus c. So get y equals 1 plus the inverse tangent, well here becomes the original tangent, of this, which is x plus c. And that's the, what's that called, general solution. All right, but I have an initial condition right here for you guys. I changed the initial condition from the paper because this way the question look more different. But you know what the answer should be already, but I will still show you guys though. So anyway, y of zero is equal to one, meaning we get one plus tangent of zero plus c, and this is zero equals tangent of c, so c has to be equal to zero, and that's nothing there. So the answer, you know it, it's going to be 1 plus tangent x. Done.